Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDL I mean, welcome to the demo of Power Chord, a rock and roll deck building game. Let's jump in, take a look, see what it's like. Oh yeah, something's wrong with the fracture. Whatever magic has been holding you back isn't holding it like it used to. And everyone's seen it slipping, including those damn demons. Now, for the first time in years, one of the bastards is trying their luck. You're gonna have to grab a couple bouncers and meet them at the gate. Or Iron Cast, the Drum Shield, and Last Night of the Thunder Fist. And bring your Brawl Fist, the Rage Brewing Guitarist, who doesn't need a reason for revenge. Now bounce that demon fast before it causes any trouble. Alright. Boar Iron Cast, the last Thunderfist. Okay, this stubborn knight of the fabled Thunderfist wields powerful barriers to defend his band. These barriers will block an entire hit no matter how much damage it does. Uh, okay, so one, two attack, deal one damage two times to a single enemy, armor up, add three armor to a single ally, barrier helm gear item, summon a barrier card at the start of each turn. Uh, okay, I assume this is the cost. Hopefully it'll teach us more as we go along. And Grimnir Brawlf Brawlfist. Uh, this bitter brewmaster never saw a hit he didn't want to take. Grimnir gains rage charges by taking damage and then deals it back as extra damage. Uh, so Strom attack, deal 4 damage to a single enemy. Crushing Roar, deal 3 rage damage to a single enemy. This card increases its damage by spending rage charges, okay. Uh, a Garic Flask, gain one rage charge for each damage taken and on hit. Sure. Okay, Grimnir's incoming damage is three, the demon's plan, okay. So, three damage to him. I guess this is my energy spent by playing cards. Uh, so, what have we got? Add three armor to a single ally. I assume that will stop incoming damage. Add one barrier charge to a single ally. Blocks one hit of any damage amount, okay. And then some attacks. Okay, so why don't we give you that. Are you already on five? Okay, I don't know whether this carries over or not, so... Uh, Exhaust when played or automatically at the end of the turn. Okay, so I've got to play it when I when I see it anyway. So maybe we will put that on him. I don't know whether the demon will always attack whoever's at the front. Uh, but do that and then do some attacks here. And end turn. So blocked and he gets one rage charge. Okay, and the barrier has gone. Okay, now what? Uh, okay, his rage charges, so he's taking three damage. From a slam attack, okay, three attacks, so damage the single enemy, okay, and that's going to be absorbed by barrier, uh, which, yeah, is persistent from turn, or oh, armor, rather, which is persistent from turn to turn. Um, so, yeah, rage charges consumed to increase the amount of rage damage. It's not count down unless spent. Okay, so this is presumably doing more damage than it would do normally, so if we just hit him with that, and then finish him off with that. Good work. That demon won't forget the time it died in a cloud of ash and smoke, but it wasn't alone. If this is gonna work, you're gonna need a bigger band. Meet Stitch, a medical enthusiast on vocals, and the closest to a healer you're gonna find in this whole damn city. Uh, 
Gradually building things up. Challenger blocks your path. Screeching minion. Weak singers that can't hold a note alone, but can power up the entire demon band. Okay. That's a stitch. Uh, Soft-pointed medic is always happy to help, but takes as much health as she gives. Stitch can power up bandmates and use vampiric abilities that heal by dealing damage. Okay, so arterial bite deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt, okay? And two power charges to a single ally. Power increases the damage dealt per hit. Uh, and immaterial stitches heal plus one health to this target or to the target whenever this character applies a buff, okay? Need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. Charges count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. Okay, so we saw that with his rage last turn. So what's going on here? Whip into shape. Grant two power charges to the allied team. So they will be doing more damage. So uh, we should probably try and take him down as soon as we can. So, two power charges to a single ally. So if we give that to him, and then now this is doing three damage two times. Uh, we could just kill the guy who's buffing everybody. And then Strom. Finish him off. Yeah. And another barrier charge to a single ally. Let's put it on our healer. He's trying to take some damage. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So. Ah, so even whether we use the power we didn't consume it. it it still stays and still counts down so we can do something similar again if we buff him uh, and then do that uh, and then we can finish him off with her Bodyguard, spotlight stealing, armored brutes, these drummers will take the hits meant for other demons, okay? Shinobi 13, faceless member of the venomous pain clan who manipulates toxins to devastating effects. Shinobi 13 will do extra damage to enemy any enemy they hit who has poison or corrosion applied. So it's only Shinobi that does the extra damage. It's not like he's poisoning them and then other band members can do more damage. No, because he is coming from Glowing Syringe. Okay, cool. Um, let's see, what have we got? Three damage coming in here. He is guarding a single ally and gaining up to eight armor. Okay, all right, so that's his stance. So any hits we try and put on him, they're gonna go on him anyway. So we should probably, we should probably get some corrosion on him. Even though we can't gain any benefit from it this turn. Let's put a barrier charge on him since he's taking some damage. Uh, let's... Put two pair of power charges on him in the hope that we get this next go, which we will. Uh, although that's 
all gonna work out at the same amount of damage. So maybe we'll just use it now on him. Okay, stance cards last until broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. Okay. Maybe he wasn't guarding him before, actually. That just showed what he was gonna do. Okay, so he's the, yeah, obviously he's the guard and he's the one being guarded, okay. That's fine. What is this? Deal two damage two times to a single enemy, which is coming in on him, and then three damage on him. So, uh, one damage three times to random enemies. Two power charges to a single ally. So, let's do that. And this does six damage. about four damage I guess and then dice roll he takes extra damage because he was uh, he had toxin so actually yeah that's that's good even though it was random because he was guarding he was guaranteed to take all the damage anyway I think it's broken his stance and so now he's no longer protecting him So, uh, we can just finish you off. We'll stick, um, actually, no, it's probably not worth it because he's got five armor anyway. I don't know if our health carries over from fight to fight. Uh, let's, what have we got? Three left. Can I put that on myself? We actually want him to take damage as well, because then that powers up his cards. I see him just do that and kill him. that was the tutorial now we're playing for real so uh, so far so slay the spire uh, what have we got here uh, it's off okay battle band of demons to get new cards uh, gearbox get some gear for no effort at all merchant yep shop spend your brimstone on new cards or gear so this is brimstone presumably uh, heal I assume. Rest site, recover some health, raise the dead. And events. Yeah. Okay. So, very standard. Uh, and it doesn't matter which way we go to start with. We're always going to be doing three fights. Follow by that, follow by that, follow by that. So, uh, go to the top. Okay, the wingman. These bases gain power while raining down attacks on your entire band. I don't like the sound of that. You should kill him quickly. Uh, what if we did corrode and then dice roll? And hope 
hope we hit him a lot. Uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, and we can kill if we do that. And then that. Two power charges. Uh, Sunder deal five damage to a single enemy and add a one barrier charge to ally team on armor break. That's pretty good. Or just take 65 money. Let's try Sunder. Base is built for lots of small random strikes. Okay. okay, can we break anybody's armor? Uh, I assume we could do that. Counts as an armor break, sure. Roll. Three damage. Three times. Ooh, all on the one. He nearly actually killed him. Uh, but he is protecting him now, which is a bit annoying. Thunder. We would need to do five damage with other attacks, which we cannot do. Yikes, that's a lot of damage. On the one hand, he wants his rage shot. Oh, well, and on the other hand, we've, we've got, we're all protected anyway. So I think we can just focus on damage. up which would be good if we had a, a rage damage card which we don't uh, if we when do we break his stance so if we break his armor if we do damage I think uh, so let's do that dice roll and hopefully that will finish off the guy at the back. Yes. Uh, and we can do that. And seven rage damage. Comprehensively eliminate. Stance gain one rage for each health damage dealt by the character. Defender stance guard a single ally and gain four armor. an aggressive guitarist that lashes out in a flurry of strikes and hypes up when you hit it in a stance. That's the guy at the front. 
take it. Okay, the damage is ramping up. So... We'll do that. charge uh, and then um, let's put some corrosion on you Two damage three times to random enemies. Two power charges. Okay, let's augment you. And go. Oh. <laughs> Not often hit the guy with corrosion on. Fine. Um uh, two damage two times. Does this just block one attack? One hit. Okay, so she would still take two damage. Uh so just put that on. Damage. Yeah, we can do it. Coup de gras. With six damage and add four instability charges to a single enemy. Increases the damage received per hit. That's pretty nice, but also pretty expensive. Breaker, rare attack, deal two damage to a single enemy and add two instability charges if they have armor. Might be more usable. Gearbox. Book of Binding. Gear item. Cards with exhaust played by this character cost plus one energy and do not exhaust. Guess I've got to choose who to put it on. Uh, each band member can carry four items that only they can use. Gear cannot be moved after, after it's been equipped, so choose wisely. So, uh, yeah, let's view their deck. So what exhausts? Uh... That. So, at the moment there's no reason to give it to anybody other than you. Oh, it costs one plus one energy. Mm. That wasn't a good idea. I'll try. Our first piece of gear, we gotta take it. Okay, the meat shield, aggressive drummers with thick hides that lash out with a flurry of rapid strikes that can attack twice while in their stance. The lurker, cowardly guitarists that hide behind other demons while building up power charges. Plague, malevolent singers who focus on ruining your plans by corroding armor, weakening your attacks, and amplifying the damage your fan takes. This is starting to seem a little more scary. So 
So how do we see? Who's attacking who? Ah, okay, right. Yeah, this this is the position, right? So one at the back, the one at the front. Makes sense. Um, okay. I guess they go front to back, so... God, yeah, this is expensive now. I'm gonna put a barrier charge on you. I'm gonna... Yeah, I should not have put that item on him. That's not very hard. First health loss. Uh, Jesus, eight damage. Okay, well, we better put that on you. I think we need to uh, start killing things. So if we break their armor, we stop them doing whatever they were going to do as well. I don't know what to 13? Oh my god! Uh, hmm. Seven is coming from here. So I think we want to do that. We want to do that. We want to pray we get lucky. Okay, got him down to four, but that's not going to be enough to kill him. So we better put Barry Charge on here. Uh, we are taking a pounding. suddenly got hard. Uh, hmm. Game one rage for health, each health damage dealt by this character. Okay. Uh, so, he's not actually attacking us this time. Make a single ally guard this character. Repeated cards played by this character are played twice. So that seems pretty bad. Uh, so we better armor. Well, at least I'm making him really mad. Twelve stacks. Need our rage damage though, which we don't have. Uh, okay. Do that armor break. Give everybody one of those. Fifty 
15 rage damage to a single enemy. With this we could kill that, but that's not the best one to do it on. Okay, let's let's hope we get lucky. Do that. Okay, that does consume his rage. Uh, and then that on him, and then three enemy, three damage, three times. Well actually yeah, to stop them attacking, just breaking their guard is enough. What's happened to him? Weakness reduces the damage per hit. That sucks. Finish you off. And put a barrier charge on, I guess, you. Oh, no more energy. Uh, one damage to a single enemy. Or zero damage and add. Oh, two instability charges if they've got armor, well, which he does not. So. One damage, better than nothing. So hit and heal is a no-brainer. I uh, should have used that first, shouldn't I? Okay, well she's got barrier charge, so that's fine. So does he. I'll just do that. Should be able to kill the next guy with No problem. Okay, that was a bit rougher. To say the least. Ammo blow deal. Four damage to a single enemy, and if it does health damage, gain two power charges. Grant two power charges to a single ally. Or 50. Uh, I quite like Augment. I would like more healing. I can get some in the shop. We got this time. Add reagent. Swap corrosion and poison effects on a single enemy. Okay. I don't think I appreciated that corrosion does armor damage. Never ready. Stand straw. One guitarist card at the start of each turn. Deal one damage three times to a single enemy. It's good given we've got the thing that gives us extra damage per attack. Burn a card. We've got 140. Armor breaker, gear item. Deal one damage to enemies if they have armor. In one energy charge when taking health damage. Unused energy becomes energy charges for this character. So yeah, the gear items are, are like relics, aren't they? They're character specific and limited in number. I think we'll take that. Uh, I was going to say I'm tempted to remove the stance, but I'd actually like to remove a, a gear item. I, I want to remove that gear item that I put on them. Um, a Scottish guitarist, but it's having that more expensive and come back is is not not a good thing. Uh, I think we're gonna s are we gonna save our money? 
take another stance, which again, same problem. It's going to cost us three and it's going to clock up our decks, so no. We'll leave it there. Uh, let's go... Oh, we, I think we're heading to an elite now, actually. That might not have been good. Uh, will Vampire transfer a buff charge to this character each time an enemy is attacked? A single ally guard this character. Deal one damage to enemy team. Which could be buffed. In two power charges. Oh, and also benefits from corrosion as well. So yeah, let's take that. Are these elites. Oh my god, these are elites, aren't they? We may die. Keep my performance in that last fight. Backing minions. Scrawny drummers that will keep the fight going all night by restoring demon armor and have a stance that will back up any demon attack with one of their own. That's the front guy. So why don't we... Do that and give all of us a barrier charge. Even though there's lots of damage coming in. Two power charges to you. Three damage to enemy team, or three damage three times to random enemies. So this is, I guess, better, because this is 12. the toughest here, 16, 19, 20. Let's get some instability charges. Actually, I should have probably used that heal. Well. It's a lot of damage. Okay, we need a barrier charge on you. Corrosion on you. I hope this hits you lots of times. It did not. Uh, one damage three times to a single enemy. This should stop. Buffs. Oh, what is this counting as a buff? Is that heal? It does. Okay, nice. Um, okay, three damage to everybody. Uh, yes. But we will do that first. And then three damage to that. Breaks both of their guards.
One team energy. Each round, this character does not play a card. Who is sometimes not playing a card? Probably Mr. Purple, maybe, or Mr. Blue. You, time to heal. Uh, heal one musician, heal the band. Back to full health or 30% for everyone. Uh, let's do 30% for everyone. And we're going to get to do it again, I think. And 30% for everyone with top everyone back up to max. Which is perfect. Okay. Uh, add plus five base armor, apply two corrosion when applying a debuff. All support cards used by this character cost one energy less. Damage to a random enemy each time an ally attacks. Two damage and stun a single enemy and exhaust. Draw three barrier cards from the exhaust pile and put them in your hand at zero cost. That doesn't even exhaust. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. We'll spend all our money. Okay, it's going to be an elite. We will go up to the top, so if we need healing, we can get it. Otherwise, we'll do the event. Okay, so he is taking more damage. But he has a huge amount of armor. Okay, well, we better do barrier. If he doesn't attack, then get plus one energy next round, I guess. doing I have one corrosion when applying a debuff it's not a with two power charges and one instability and he's just going to be doing lots of damage okay let's do breaker on yeah. that um, 
then material by Yes, one extra energy. Nice. So let's Power charges to you and then three damage to everyone. Carry a charge on you. More damage on SU, which becomes six. Pile, okay. We'll give us two free barriers. So, yeah, let's do that. Barrier on you. Weakened is not good. Who's weakening us? Is that the front guy, maybe? Uh, okay, let's get you in your stance. Get plenty of purple cars, we'll have more energy next go. Let's do that again. Get one on you. One on you. And three things on you. three times to a single enemy. Which we could make three damage three times with augment. Uh, 
as well. Alright. 17 damage to a single enemy. Goodbye. Barrier charge takes that attack. Uh, no healing we can do. No, so kill that. Plan B gear item. Summon a random card that will exhaust for this character at the start of each turn. If we give that to him, it won't exhaust. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. I'm just going to take the money. Okay, we our health is almost full, so we'll do an event. Blood sales. A lone surgeon approaches. Would you be willing to spare some blood for a friend? I'll pay a good coin for a bit of your red. It's creepy, but it's a better deal than they usually offer. Select a band member to sell some blood. Offer to buy some instead. Uh, select a character to heal for 10 health and lose 50 brimstone coin. Okay, well, we're coming up to a healing, so we don't need that. Uh, no. None of the above. Thank you. Uh, everybody's on, basically, anyway, so we're good. So, boss time. Ooh. Crash and Snare. Crash and Snare have kicked down the gates and are waiting to beat you into the ground. With waves of minions and drum clubs the size of boar, you better be ready to withstand some massive attacks against your entire team and pick the right time to remove his minions. This is just the big, ugly, two-headed beginning of your tour, which is as good an opener as any. This massive drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band and they will destroy their own backup to gain power charges. Okay. Razor Whip gain three power charges when this character slays an ally. For now he's doing five damage to all of us. That's pretty rude. We have no barrier cards there. We have we don't have the one that gives us all barrier either. So that's not great. What are you doing? We have two power charges to ally team. God, he is insanely strong. Well. Um, our squishiest one is our healer, so let's protect them. Let's give three armor to them. Leaves us with two. And then let's do four damage to you. He did, he did more damage, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Uh, hmm. He's very strong. My god. Oh my god. Okay. I guess we barrier charge him. Uh, 
kind of think I'm better off killing him. Do that. Do that on him. And then that. Oh, that didn't kill. Okay. on him. Oh my god. Next barrier charge is really much essential. So barrier charge on you. We'll do that. That will heal you for a little bit as well. Uh, I guess we can save up the rage damage. It does decay over time, but we're at the end of our draw pile, so we may get this back next go anyway. So let's hit him with that. And that. But we only gain the rage when we do health damage. We'll take damage. Yes, okay, so it came back. Okay. Well, we're going to do that. Get two barriers on you. One barrier on you. Uh, do that. And then 17 rage damage. And what does this do? Increases the damage per hit. Stuns him, okay. Summoning. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's put you back in your stance. Don't need the heal. We could, I guess we could put a barrier charge up now, being ready for readiness for next turn. It's probably a good move. And let's put some courage on you. Oh, although, there I've lost an energy next go. This first see where it lands. Well, guess that was the most effective, but it means we can't kill him. I guess we're gonna barrier him. Do that. And then nine damage. Gives us uh, rage as well, which is good.
Okay, we can kill him with that. And get more charges of that. We definitely need to pop this gun. I'm so glad we picked that up. Uh, so she needs two charges. And he needs one. While there's no minions, if we get his attack, it's going to be doing heavy extra damage. Hmm. He's still in his stance right here. He's summoning again. Wait, I thought I was putting Corrosion on him. Sorry, I thought I was putting Instability on him, but I'm... Hmm. Getting mixed up now. Corrosion. It is Corrosion. Does that do extra damage then? I'm not sure. If we don't play that though, then we have five energy next go, so... Uh... He is our main attacker, so we better try and keep him alive. Let's boost this as well. Barrier charge to a single ally. Um, hmm. Okay, let's put it on that. that spread around. It's not too much damage. It's protecting us from a lot. Okay, 25 damage. I mean, that should go on the boss, really. And if we hit with this first, we will get more damage as well. Does he, does he always damage his minions? Not sure. I'm trying to decide whether we should just put it all on the boss. I'm going to say yes. Well, no, maybe we'll put some on there. I love that he keeps this. This is actually really good. out. So you need one. You need one. Uh, you arguably need two. But it's only three damage so I'm going to put one him. He needs to stay alive. Gonna play this so that we've got uh, 
so that we've got extra. Let's give her an extra. Extra energy next go. to 20. So one of those, got, yeah him because we need to keep him alive so we can keep protecting everybody. Um, so let's do that and that and to kill the boss. 37 rage damage, okay. All gone. I'm not quite sure what causes us to lose all of our rage charge. I just say consumed. I'm sure the last time I played a card with rage damage, it didn't consume it. down to 30. It'd be bad if we can't beat him now. Uh, nine. 10, 11, 12. Uh, in fact, we'll do more. So, that will increase. It worked because he's not in his stance. Uh, Seven damage, that's fine. Oh, we probably could have done this. We can survive seven damage. One hit point. That is it. That is the demo of Power Chord. Uh, let's find out how you can join the closed beta to try out new characters and cards. Okay. Uh, I don't know when the game is due out. Um, wait, we've got something new for... What, you a new musician has joined the band? Try out our new vocalist, Asher Odd, and then let us know what you think. Only available in this demo. Asher Odd, the seer. A vocal mystic who uses tarot cards to generate his own energy. Odd will change the hands that fate dealt to control the course of battle without ever needing to strike more than a pose. Curse, deal one damage and add two weakness charges to a single enemy. Um, it's weakness, reduce the damage dealt by hit, okay. Uh, center mine, draw one card for a single ally. Mystic Mike, gain one tarot charge for every three cards played by the team. Okay. Uh, I guess maybe if we did another run uh, with him, another run would get the opportunity to play with him. We, do we normally get to choose our band members? Yes, we do. Okay, so he's the one that we added. 
So maybe we will give him a go another time. What are the challenges? In the full game, you can complete challenges to unlock new abilities, gear, and characters. Unlock some free ones for you to try out. Uh, have you? Where are they then? I don't think we can do the challenges. Um, cool. Well, yeah, there you are. Uh, that is Paracord demo. Yeah, it's, I, I like the I like the aesthetic. I like the art. It's, it's fun. Um, I guess it's kind of it's kind of a it's like other deck builders where you are controlling multiple characters, but it's not quite so overwhelming uh, because you only have a relatively small number of cards from each character in your deck. Um, so I do I do like that. Uh, yeah, it seems seems pretty cool. I'll uh, be keeping an eye on this one. Um, but for now, that is going to do it from me. So uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDL Lamy signing out. Bye for now.